Hello, hello, lovely people. We have Ricky Gervais roasting people to their face. That's gotta be good, so you bet your bottoms we're watching. Because I would love to try stand up. I'd love that to do stand up. I think you look good. I think you look good. Oh my god. My bad. I didn't test the volume. Whoops. Dude, but it's like mega low. Okay, wait. Sorry. Sorry. Because I would love to try stand up. I'd love to do stand up. I, I think you'd be it. good. I think you'd be good. You say that, but I, when I try and write a joke, I get I get the opening bit. I say that's a funny idea. Madonna's got divorced, and then I think, yeah. Where's my writers? You know, I don't. Well, yeah, I don't. <laughs> uh, I never knew you were this weird. Really? <laughs> Because you kept it, you, we were yeah. together for a couple of days. And did, I know. You're absolutely mental. <laughs> in, a, in a nice way? Yeah. 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 Okay, so, <laughs> if you do win an award Slap. tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your God, and... So... Oh, oh no, no funny business, there you go. <laughs> not okay. on this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> what are you wearing? I love that. What are you wearing, dude? Look at you, buddy, turning up in a grey. <laughs> right? Something they wouldn't even have in TK Maxx. Look at it. How much time do you spend in London? I know you got a house here. How much time do you spend here? How much time do you spend in London? Well, between the two, probably a bit more in London, but, you know. I, London, I, yeah, yeah. I, like, I like to come here as often as I can. Are the taxes bloody awful in London? <laughs> um, in England, isn't it just crazy? Well, unlike you, I like paying tax because it's giving something back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop all the signs say, chill, bro. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, so, hey, kid, yeah, you're not, you're, still... not, you're not giving them, you know, they come out, <laughs> they, they park their cars, they've got babies that they haven't paid. Why would you? That'd be mental. <laughs> but, but if I was you, I'd be going, thank you so much, these people, and giving them, you know what I mean? A new series of extras. Was that not that going, scripted? <laughs> thank you so much, these people, and giving them, you know I mean? if that's A new scripted. series of extras starts yeah. this week. Uh, congratulations on, well, on getting a second series, essentially, but also... Congratulations on already fucking it up. It's next week, you moron. <laughs> It was shoddy. It was, um, I mean... It, <laughs> that felt planned. You know, you, di you didn't write it, and that's... Just us two. But, do it like... <laughs> but... Do it like it's your... Do it like you were clever enough to come up with this joke yourself, <laughs> OK? For everybody, you went to the Achilles heel of everybody. Like, when you tell a woman who's, you know, that... Her, that it's you know she looks old. That just hits a woman Who's, deep in the. What, 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 I think you said something about the Sex in the City women, like about. I said it was airbrushed, and I said we now we know how old you are, girls. I saw one of you in a in an episode of Bonanza. Okay. Come on, say it wrong. No, 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 no. No, I was saying, why lie? There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with being fifty or looking fifty. But you're not a woman. Yeah, and I get you. But I don't think you lose your sensuality. I like how Whoopi's just dying. Is the star of the hilarious comedy *The Martian*. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Oh, I nearly died. Right. Oh. He's also the only person who Ben Affleck hasn't been unfaithful to. Please welcome Matt Damon. <laughs> Like shake his hand or anything. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah. I do look a bit more like Parker these days. I don't know. That's the problem. You're you getting confused. <laughs> He's kept yeah. himself in trim. Look at you. <laughs> Undo the button. Go on, let it hang out. Look at this. Look There's at this. Nothing no, there. There's no, nothing right. there. There's nothing there. Fucking let it go. What? Look at that. What? What? Look who's talking. I've, I've, only, I've only got a day to live. I said, what do you want to do? <laughs> And then, and then when that didn't happen, why is it? And then when that didn't happen, make a wish foundation. No. I'd like to go on Jimmy Fallon, please. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's not what you said. No, no, no I didn't. You, yeah, you want to do something else? And then I said anything but Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. Fallon yeah. <laughs>
I mean, you always work together. Do you ever go on holiday together? Fuck off! <laughs> Jesus Christ! God, Can you loud. imagine that? <laughs> Oh, it would this. be horrible. Just think of the pictures. Me looking pretty cool and sort of tanned. Buff, now and buff. buff, yeah. Buff. And the thing, naked, he looks like one of those baby fish. You can actually see through his body. <laughs> You're one of about five people that have been invited round my house. I'm a very sort of private person, apart from, like, you know, workmen and postmen. Um, and, uh... You make me feel special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had Alan Carr, a postman round him. <laughs> Refuse uh, collector. Yeah, well, they're, at least they're useful. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I can't believe this. Uh, <laughs> they're useful. The <laughs> I, uh, I can't believe this. Uh, you, you had a birthday, and is it 50 years old? You're not 50 years yeah. old. Are you really 50, 50 years old? 50. 50, yeah. I mean, you look tremendous. <laughs> you look... Like you're 35. If somebody Dude, okay, somebody mentioned this to me once because I started watching. Well, the Jonathan Ross. I've seen some interviews and the Graham Norton show, and it's so weird to me. Somebody pointed it out, and it's true that when you have the a British talk show and you have the people there, they're like on the same level. They're like on the same kind of chairs and stuff. And for some reason, every time he's on an American talk show, the host looks like this big, and then the guy sitting next to him is just like, it's weird how they have, they're like on a higher bit, but it, like, I don't know, they're like closer to the camera or something. Because even Jimmy Fallon looks like freaking huge compared, it's weird how they do that. No point, but whatever. Tell me, uh, how old, I say 35. A 35, honestly. You look exactly like you did the first time, except you're in better shape. Remember you used to come out and you're sort of pear-shaped when you come out? <laughs> now you look great. <laughs> you look you, you didn't good. say that at the time, though, did no, you? No, I didn't know what See, to. I didn't know what to think. Well, no. You said oh, you look good now because I looked awful before. That's all you're saying. <laughs> no, I needed you to say it before. You go, you're pear shaped. I'd have no, worked out faster no. than now. <laughs> but but how how do you feel at 50? Good, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm grumpier. I think I'm grumpier. Grumpier. Yeah, yeah. I understand you a lot more now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There you go. No. Cancel, cancel culture. That's just in the middle. Is it? Oh, I thought it was just. Why in the fridge you editing ads in the middle of a video? Like YouTube already puts ads in the middle of a video, which is freaking annoying. And now they doubled up on ads. And on top of it, people are editing ads inside of their videos. Say about our next two presenters. The first is an actor, producer, writer, and director whose movies have grossed over three and a half billion dollars at the box office. He's won two Academy Awards and three Golden Globes for his powerful and varied performances, starring in such films as Philadelphia, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Apollo 13, and Saving Private Ryan. The other is Tim Allen. <laughs> hey, Tim Allen had his own show, and it was decent enough. Well, you know, like, like many of you, we recall back when Ricky Gervais was a slightly chubby but very kind co comedian. Yeah. Neither of which is he now. Mainly Star Trek memorabilia, because I love Star Trek. <laughs> oh, <laughs> such a nerd. <laughs> have, you never been in, have you never been in a Star Trek? No, I've never been in a Star Trek, but I love the original series, so I have, oh, okay. like, I have the Gorn head from the original series from the episode arena where... Like, they know what <laughs> I know, I'm just... I'm not, I'm just nodding. Oh, the Gorn head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Gorn head. Okay. I have... <laughs> I have... What the f*** is a Gorn head? Uh, every time you're on the program, I try to do it's this... funny how... See, because he can be funny and stuff, but he, he seems like somebody that would be exhausting to hang out with. Like, Ben Stiller is fed up. You can see it on his face. Sometimes they're faking it, but you can see Ben Stiller is fed up. It's a gone head. <laughs> uh, every time you're on the program, I try to do this, and it always comes out very clumsy. Let me try it one more time. Possibly the best television show ever. What do you think? Oh, uh, possibly. What do you mean? <laughs> Yeah.
it. <laughs> what have you named your private parts? <laughs> um, <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> what? Our next presenter <clears throat> is the queen of pop. Not you, Alton. Sit down. This is... She's all woman. I'll give you some clues. She's always vogue. She's a material girl. And she's just like a virgin. <clears throat> Please welcome Madonna. If I'm still just like a virgin, Ricky, then why don't you come over here and do something about it? I haven't kissed a girl in a few years. On TV. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> On a serious note, just looking at all the faces, here reminds me of some of the great work that's been done this year by cosmetic surgeons. Um, <laughs> it is an honour to be here um, in a room full of what I consider to be the most important people on the planet. <laughs> Actors. They're just, they're just better than ordinary people, aren't they? That's, no, they're, 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 we all know that. Um, <laughs> Imagine a world without actors. Oh, God, it doesn't bear thinking about it. Imagine if they ever went on strike. Oh, what would we do? You couldn't replace them. You couldn't replace them with any other profession, lawyers or doctors. Can you imagine a real surgeon doing what Hugh Laurie does in-house? It would be pathetic. <laughs> He'd be all over the place. We'd go, oh, where do I stand? How's my American accent? What, what's my lines? You know, Hugh, with the aid of coaches and stuff, can eventually learn his lines while saving lives. He's a genius. <laughs> How could you replace Kiefer Sutherland in 24? I'd love to see a real anti-terrorist agent try and defuse a bomb in a busy train station in one hour. <laughs> Some of those scenes, by the way, where Kiefer grabs someone and beats them to a pulp, they weren't even in the script. Um, Everybody liked that, though. The director <laughs> just said, keep rolling, we'll work it into the... <laughs> but actors aren't just loved here in Hollywood, they are loved the world over, <laughs> because they're recognisable. You can be anywhere. You could be in the third world, okay, and you get a glimpse of a Hollywood star, and it makes you feel better, okay? You could be a little, a little child, a little Asian child, with no possessions and no money, but you get a, you see a picture of Angelina Jolie, and you think, oh, Mummy! <laughs> one was uh savage that was good um well props to him i mean it takes a special kind of someone to be able to do that kind of stuff to their faces so that's fun um man most of it was good most of it was some of it was just weird but yeah anyway it's ricky it's fine <laughs> i get it um, watching him on the Golden Globes thingy majiggies is, um, it's on my to watch list, so. Soon, 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 because I can already feel the comments saying it's going to be all about that, I need to watch those. I know, I know, but, um, I just haven't yet, so. At some point, anyway. There you go, that was that. Ta-ta. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. You've been a wonderful audience. I am done. So, toodles. I am out. Goodbye. And I was going to say it in German, but I, no, I can't. I, I'm, I'm, ciao. <laughs>